Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to show you an unidirectional data flow, which can be considered as a extreme variant of the model view control pattern. And for this purpose, I would like to use the BCI boundary control entity Quick Starter, web component Quick Starter. And uh, what already happened, I installed the application and you can uh, check out this short two minute video, how to install the BCI uh, template or Quick Starter app. So uh, the um, app is already running. What I also have here is this Redux um, DevTool extension, uh, Chrome extension. And there is a uh, add bookmark at list. So there are two, um, two routes. And if I add, for instance, unidirectional. So we already see a lot of actions happened here. And I say new bo uh, bookmark in list. I see here the list. Here's the state. And I say delete. It is going to be deleted with the next action. So the interesting part is that uh, the synchronization here. So if I say uh, sync, so it is go going to be synchronized here immediately. And um, it also will appear in the list immediately. So the question is how it is implemented. And um, let's take a look at the uh, bookmarks um, component. And this is where the magic, actually there's no magic. This is where the flow happens. and. Um, Let's take a look at the add. So this is the web component um, called add with the same name B add. B stands for BCE. And uh, what's interesting here is that we have here the event handlers on user input and new bookmark. And what happens here is in the inside the web component, the, um, the uh, UI specific event is translated to something you are neutral. So what happens here is we are fetching the or we are extracting the target with the name and value and we are forward this to bookmark updated. So and the bookmark updated is in the next layer in the control layer. So this was the boundary. So it was the boundary to the user and the control layer, the CRUD control. What happens here is um, there is the bookmark updated action and the uh, bookmark uh, new bookmark action and delete bookmark action. These are the actions. And uh, we also have here control methods like bookmark updated, new bookmark and delete bookmark. And what happens here is we are just taking the, um, the parameters. We add some additional information like here, for instance, additional ID. What we could also do here, we can go to the server and call a server actions or REST API or something like that. And we are using the Redux store and this action is dispatched. So dispatched means in the in the store, which is the next layer, the entity, the um, in inside the store there are cases, and the case is like um, a switch case or if 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 case. So actually, we are using here Redux toolkit. If you would use the plain Redux, uh, you will find if else statements or switch cases. In this particular case, a little bit more linear with the, it was the uh, builder pattern. So this is the builder here. So, and in the case of bookmark uh, action, um, uh, the uh, state of the bookmark is updated and we, uh, in the new bookmark app action, we are extending the list. And um, this is actually visible here. So if I would add, uh, let's take a look here at the list. So there are, they, they are this is bookmarks list, which reflects the, um, list here. So if I will add another one, another one, new bookmark, there should be another one in the list. Um, another, this is the diff, yeah, there is another one in the list, but this was the diff. So there are two and the diff is additional one. Okay, so this happens inside this action and now we are done. The question is how the views are updated. And this is uh, the uh, part of the 50 lines of code framework inside the BE element and um, in the connected callback function, which is called um, after the component was uh, initialized. This is part of the web component standard or web platform or browser APIs. And we are subscribing here to Redux changes. And on every change, on any change, we are calling trigger view update which um, which performs the update of the UI elements. So um, the flow is from the from the um, visible component from the custom element. Uh, events are translated to UI neutral events. They are dispatched to um, to Redux stores. In the Redux stores, the state is changed, and on any state change, all views are updated. 
or notified. So thanks for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, AHEX Live projects or workshops. So thank you.